Felix. Um, you know, they, there's, a, there's a saying that the empty vessels make the most noise. Did, did, you, did, did you know about that? Well, do you know what it means? Well, let me, let me show you. You know, if I hit here, see, it doesn't make any noise. But if I hit here, do you hear the noise? Because that's empty. Whereas this is, oh, hello, children. How are you? <laughs> Sorry, we, we were just uh, talking and I, I told Felix that, that there's an old saying that empty vessels or empty containers make more noise than other things do. And it's an interesting thing that, you know, Felix, you know, if I, if I look at this, see, it doesn't make a noise as loud as, you hear that? Big noise, isn't it true? Well, Felix, um, you know that when you when you um, hit empty empty things, they tend to make the most noise, and and it's an old saying that that people who have got nothing to say tend to say more than people who have got a lot to say. They speak less. You know, in actual fact, um, children. You know, we're going to read something out of the Bible today, and it's almost got to do with the same thing that we're doing now. Where empty vessels make the most noise, Felix. But before we do that, children, I think that we need to sing. And those of you who've been watching the videos that we've been recording will know that one of the songs we sing is Jesus loves me, this I know. And I just thought that that will be a good song for us to sing again. We haven't sung that for quite a while, Felix. Uh, can you remember it? Okay, well, that's good, children. Can you remember that song? Jesus loves me, this I know. I'm, I'm sure they know it, Felix. And, and again, children, as normal, we got our Bibles and we, we are going to turn into them. So you need to get your Bibles because today we're going to read something out of there that's going to help us to know why empty vessels make the most noise. <laughs> okay, children, do you have your Bibles? Are you ready to sing now? Are you ready to sing, Felix? Okay, Felix is ready. Jesus loves me. Okay, ch children, let's sing together. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. You know, Felix, I'm so glad that the Bible tells us such a lot of things and that the most important thing that it tells me is that Jesus loves me. You know that he also loves you, Felix. Did you know that? Oh, that's good. And children... Did you know that Jesus loves you also? That's what the Bible teaches me. And always remember, when you're not sure, just sing, Jesus loves me. Will you do that, Felix? Okay, well, children, I think let's get to the verse we're going to read today. And Felix, it's found in Proverbs chapter 10. Now, Proverbs, Felix, was a lot of the, the sayings in Proverbs are Proverbs. It's, it's, it's teachings with something that you can learn from the teaching. You see, that's what a proverb is. And most of these proverbs that we find in the book of Proverbs was actually written by the, the king, the, the very wise king. Remember, we spoke about him yesterday. His name was Solomon. He was extremely wise and he learned a lot of things. And so he used to take all those things, Felix, and he would put out little proverbs. And those proverbs, when you study them and you look at them, they really tell you a lot of very important things. And children, we've decided, Felix and I, that over the next while, we are going to be studying some of the principles or some of the problems found in God's Word. Are you excited about that, Felix? And children, I hope you're going to get excited. Well, we're going to turn to the first proverb that I want us to look at. And although we, we were beating things and making a lot of noise, and although there's a saying out there that empty vessels make the most noise, we can understand that because when something is empty, it's just hollow and it makes a lot of noise. 
But I want you to listen what the Bible says. And it's got lots of little sayings like this, Felix. But children, in Proverbs chapter 10, and we're going to look together, Felix, at verse 19. Can you see where it is, Felix? Okay, verse 19. When words are many, sin is not absent. Wow! It's almost like empty vessels make a lot of noise. So when there's a lot of words, it means that somewhere in those words, some, because there's such a lot of words, sin is hiding away. And then it says, But he who holds his tongue is wise. Wow! You know, Felix... I wonder what this means. You know, Solomon it was trying to tell us something, and he was saying, when words are many, sin is not absent. You know, I, I sometimes think when a whole lot of people get together and they start talking and talking and talking and talking, sooner or later they start telling things that aren't true because they run out of words, and maybe they even start talking about people and they start saying things about those people that aren't true. Because it's like many words, if it's too many words, sometimes sin is right there. So, you know, it's also saying that he who holds his tongue is wise. Sometimes, even though you know that there is something that somebody is doing and it's wrong, and you know about it, sometimes, Felix, the best thing in that case is just to put your hand over your mouth and not just say anything. Rather than say a lot of things that can actually harm people. Will you remember that, Felix? Well, you know, children, if you look at Felix today, I told him how that we, 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 we flew, Felix, to New York, children. And you, you know, you, New York is far, far, far away from here. And we, we flew with an aeroplane. And I see that, that Felix is wearing a New York uh, cap and he's got a New York shirt on and oh is that what he he says he would like to go to new york but you know felix new york is far away you know if you had to travel with an airplane really flying fast you'll get there maybe in about um 20 hours that's a long time and you know felix it makes me think of some ducks. You know what ducks are? Children, do you know what ducks are? You know, they go quack, quack, quack. <laughs> hey, Felix? And there's a particular duck. It's called a mullard duck. Now, the mullard duck, children, is a very interesting duck, Felix. You know that it's, it's said that the mullard duck can fly 80 kilometers an hour. Can you believe that? I mean, that is Fast children, they fly at 80 kilometers an hour. That means, Felix, if they had to fly for eight hours, they would be flying about uh, 80 times. Uh, um, I will make it 10 hours. If it was 10 hours, they would be flying at least 800 kilometers. Isn't that far, Felix? That's far, 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 far. That's like flying all the way to to Bluefontein, maybe even further. And anyway, children, you know that these ducks, Milan ducks, can really fly far, 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 far away. In, in actual fact, I'm told that a Milan duck can fly about 1,000, nearly 300 kilometers in eight hours. Did you know that? And that's maybe with a little bit of wind behind them. They can fly so far, Felix. But anyway, one day, the story, children, that we're going to tell is about a mullard duck and a crow. You know what a crow is? Yes, you know, crows talk a lot. Oh, we can do this. Oh, wow, wow. We can talk. And they're always talking. Quack, 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 quack. All the time. And there was this crow sitting on a rock. And he was just saying how great he is and how far he can fly. And, you know, how fast he can fly. And he was just talking, 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 talking. Like, you know, crows do all the time. They just talk, talk, talk. And remember what the Bible says, you know, that sometimes a lot of talking, you know, shows you that you're an empty vessel. And, you know, there were some mullard ducks just nearby, and they were looking at him, and they weren't really saying much. They were just listening to him. And as the Bible says, he who holds his tongue is wise. And the ducks were just quiet there, 
And they were listening to this crow. This crow was saying, man, I can fly far. I can really fly far. And he was talking funny. He looked and he said, oh, there are some mullard ducks. And he said to the mullard ducks, oh, you know what? I can fly, fly very far. And, you know, I can fly further than any other bird. We, you know, and he was really bragging and talking a lot, you know. And the ducks were just quiet and they were just listening to him. And so finally he said, come here, I want to talk to you. And they came a little closer. And when they got closer, he said, you know what? I can really fly very far. In actual fact, I think I can fly further than you can fly. Uh, you know, you, man, you can't even fly as far as I can fly. And the ducks were just quiet. They didn't say anything. So then the crow said, well, well, let's see, you know, because I'm telling you I can fly further. And so the duck said, okay, well, let's see who can fly the furthest. And so what happened is the duck flew up into the sky and the crow flew up into the sky, right up, right up, right up into the sky. And the crow started to fly and fly and fly and fly and fly. And the duck was also just flying, not making any noise. And the crow was saying, you see, look how far I can fly. And the, the duck was just going and finally, the crow was saying, wow, you know, look, look how far I can fly. And, and he was getting all tired, Felix, and the, the, the duck was just flying next to him, hardly getting all out of breath, just flying. You see, he wasn't saying anything because you know why? The crow didn't know that these ducks can really fly far. And after they had flown for about maybe 80 kilometers, the the, the, the crow said, oh, I'm so tired. We need to rest now. And the duck said, no, but, you know, we just started. And the crow says, no, you know, oh, uh, I can't fly any further. I know that you can fly further than me. And he realized that he was just an empty vessel that made, that made a lot of noise. And the duck felt sorry for him. And you know what the ducks did? They flew underneath him and they let him land on top of them. And they started to fly and they turned around and they started to fly back. And they took the crow all the way back. And you know when they got back to where they started, they landed and the crow got off and he felt very shy because he realized that he was just talking and talking and talking. But meantime, the ducks weren't saying anything. You see, empty vessels make a lot of noise and sometimes as the bible says when words are many sin is not absent and these ducks were very quiet they didn't say anything but yet when it really came to showing or to saying something the ducks showed the crow that they didn't have to say anything because they were always um they knew that they could fly further than any other bird normally flies and so we must always remember he who holds his tongue Felix he who holds his tongue and doesn't brag all the time that person is a wise person well children do you, I hope that you remember the story about the crow and the duck you know the ducks didn't do a lot of talking but in their lives they showed what they were all about well you remember that children when you, when you hear people and they're just talking, 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 sometimes don't talk, just do, just go out and do, that is what counts. Will you remember that, Felix? Okay, well, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna hear you talking too much, okay? You have to be silent so that you're wise, okay? Well, children, have a lovely day. Remember, it's weekend, so I won't see you tomorrow. They won't see us, Felix. So we'll see you on Monday again. And guess what, children? Maybe normal time, I'll let you know. We'll let them know. Hey, Felix. Okay. Bye-bye, children. Bye. Keep well.